guys. So today we are going to be doing yet another fun kind of video talking about my top most favorite knives for our folding kind of pocket knives for the outdoors. Now before we get in any further, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so that you can continue to see the snow melt. <laughs> Anyways guys, now let's jump into it. <coughs> So with this list, as I have them all in a neat little drug baggie, uh, <clears throat> I just kind of pick out kind of my top ultimate uh, knives for the outdoors. Now there's going to be five or probably four technical knives, and then there's two other knives in regards to the fact that they're kind of considered knives, but they're really more uh, multi-tools. So there's technically three of them, but yeah. So it's going to be broken into knife, knife, or there's actually, sorry. So, so in my little drug baggie here, I have the knives kind of broken out into two kind of divisions, if you will, and that is knives in specific and the knives that are more multi-tools. But I still want to include them into this list because they are basically knives. So now let's jump into the knives of my favorite or top kind of outdoor knives. Off, as you guys can kind of see with this whole setup, I have some criteria with my top outdoor knives. They generally are all going to be quite small, especially the single bladed ones like this are all going to be quite small, but they're knives that I consider, uh, folders that I consider small packages, but that offer a lot of value or a lot of versatility for their small size. And so when I do ultimately bring a knife into the woods, that's what I'm kind of looking for. So the first of these is one of my top choices is the Benchmade 556. Now maybe not such a flamboyantly blue handle like this one, but even this flamboyantly blue handle or a black one or whatever handle color you get of a Benchmade 556, this is probably one of my top uh, picks, or not probably, it definitely is one of my top picks. I ranted and raved about this knife as being a superb little outdoors uh, folder because it's so small, especially when folded. It's such a tiny compact package, but yet you can still get a comfortable forefinger grip and it does so many different things. The blade performance is very well on this little guy. So once again, you'll see in the Benchmade family for actual outdoor knives, not uh, outdoor kind of multi-tool knives, is the Benchmade Bug Out. This one also made the list because a lot like it's older brother, uh, the 556. This is another knife that's pretty small, but packs a lot of value into it, so to speak, kind of value for usefulness in the outdoors. This is a knife that it's super lightweight. It's a little bit bigger than the mini grip, so you can't quite squeeze it into as many small applications, but this little knife here, it's still pretty small, but it's super lightweight, super thin, has a really great blade shape for the outdoors and makes a excellent addition to a pocket. And honestly, when I do go out into the outdoors and I want a woods competent uh, folding knife, this is definitely in that list. So I would have probably also thrown in, no surprise, the Benchmade 275 Adamus into this list, but I actually sold it about a year ago, and that was another great knife. Now, I honestly sold the Adamus because it was really only for my life and for my line of work, it was really only good for the outdoors, and I simply was not using it enough to justify having this knife just kind of sitting around. So I wanted to diversify, and I ended up selling that knife off and buying other knives with the money. So that probably would have made an excellent addition to this list, and I know it's kind of funny. I have not been sponsored or paid by Benchmade in any way to have so many Benchmade knives here. It's just that I find that a lot of the Benchmade styles and designs, especially with the Axis Lock, lend themselves really well to the outdoors. So the next on the list is a Spyderco, believe it or not, and this is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Now I am not the largest fan of this knife in the outdoors just for the fact of its very weak tip but aside from the weak tip this knife is actually a very strong knife and <clears throat> this knife has a very strong locking mechanism you can baton with it you can actually do quite a few industrious tasks so long as it's not prying and actually one that i almost forgot 
and one that's kind of a side add-on to the actual woods blades is, and I know most people are going to be like, what the heck? But another very capable and competent woods blade is actually the Microtech UltraTech. Now, a lot of people would never think to use a out the front knife. They generally, most people kind of think of these as gimmicks, but if you guys actually go look, and I probably will leave a link in the description below, um, Ben, or not Benchmade, but uh, Blade HQ, they actually did a field test with a guy who was an owner of a Microtech Ultratech, and they took him out in the woods, and he did some different kind of lighter duty, what you would basically do with a pocket knife in the woods and he even did some a little bit of batoning and other things like that and honestly the knife held up just fine it did really well and so that it's a large testament to just how strong out the fronts are a lot of people don't really give them the credibility of being actually a pretty viable option when it comes to an outdoor blade it's a little bit unorthodox, but it actually is the Microtech Ultratech. Of course, single edge version, I would not take, I have a double edge version. That is not the one I'm talking about, but I'm talking specifically this single edge, non-tanto version, just drop point, very standard uh, Ultratech, but it does a very good job. And it's actually a very comfortable uh, little folder for, not so much folder, but pocket knife for the outdoors. So those are all the bladed options for, or just the single bladed options for my list. Now getting over to multi-tools. I'll start off with the biggest and baddest of the group. So of course this will be the Surge, and the Surge really deserves to be on any good list of multi-tools or kind of pocket knives. This isn't too much of an actual pocket knife, but it is a really great option for the woods. This alone, I would feel very comfortable and confident out in the woods, even if I didn't have any of the uh, single-edged pocket knives. I would feel very confident with this one because it just has a lot of capabilities. It has a great little saw on it, double-sided file uh, that actually comes with it. It's not uh, on the thing, but it actually comes with a double-sided file, and it's just a really awesome little multi-tool. <laughs> not so much little because it's kind of big, but awesome multi-tool nonetheless. So then moving over to the next multi-tool that has pliers, it is of course the Leatherman Charge Plus. And really when I talk about the Charge Plus, I'm talking about any of the Charge lineup. So the Charge TTI, ALX, AL, Plus, any of the charges, this is basically a grouping them into because a grouping them all into one because they're all basically the same aside from blade steel uh, they're really all the same so this is a great multi-tool once again it's actually a lot like the surge it has basically every single tool that the surge has it's just that it's slightly downgraded so the scissors are on the inside and they're kind of a wimpier version of the scissors so it's a little bit of a downside but other than that it comes in at like two thirds or three quarters of the size of the surge but it has basically all the same tools to it <clears throat> So lastly, but certainly not least, in the blades, no real pocket knife uh, collection for the outdoors could be complete without a really good, capable uh, Victorinox. And this one I chose is the Huntsman because the Huntsman makes a really great outdoors tool as well as an actually an EDC uh, multi-tool, but it has a really nice and long uh, saw, pretty good sized full-sized blade and then you also have your really nice pen blade here for doing more detailed finer work as well so I really love having for me personally as far as an outdoors task goes I love having a good long saw and a good long main blade and then a pen blade for me those are the three most important things when I look at a Victorinox for woods use because those are the three things I'm going to use the most but it also comes with a nice large sized ah, blizzards, scissors, so that is very handy. So that's very handy too. It also has, you know, a few screwdrivers, can opener, the kind of standard stuff for a Victorinox. Uh, but it has a lot of very handy tools on it for the outdoors, but really love this knife because it has the long saw blade, the long uh, main blade, and then a shorter pen blade. Anyways, guys, that hopefully has been nice and short for y'all. And that's all for now, guys. God bless, and I'm out.